Hello, how to solve x minus 1 over x brackets, power of a half plus 1 minus 1 over x bracket, power of a half is equal to x, to find the value of x from this equation. Now first from this part, we let us a is equal to this first part, which is x minus 1 over x bracket, power of a half. And we let b is equal to this second part, which is 1 minus 1 over x bracket, power of a half. Then in next step, from this first part is a, then plus this second part is b is equal to x. Then we let this as first equation. Then from the first equation, which is this a plus b is equal to x, we'll multiply by a minus b bracket in both sides. Then from this time this is a perfect square, which is same as a square minus b square is equal to this x bracket a minus b bracket. Then in next step, from a square, we substitute the value of a, this a it will be a square is equal to from here, power of a half square to be this inside the bracket, which is x minus 1 over x, then comma b square, it will be equal to from here b, square of b, in this power of a half times square, it will be this inside the bracket, which is 1 minus 1 over x. Then in next step, from here a square minus b square, the value of a square minus b square is equal to a square is this x minus 1 over x bracket then minus b square is this bracket 1 minus 1 over x bracket. Then in next step, we'll open the brackets. So it will be a square minus b square is equal to when you open the bracket to be x minus 1 over x, and here negative will multiply inside the bracket, so it will be negative 1, then negative and negative it will be positive 1 over x. Then in next step, this negative 1 over x plus 1 over x is 0, so this and this will cancel. Then it will be a square minus b square is equal to x minus 1. But recall a square minus b square is equal to, in previous, a square minus b square is equal to x bracket a minus b. So from x bracket a minus b. So we'll compare these two equations. Then it will be x minus 1 is equal to this x bracket a minus b. Then in next step, we'll divide by x in both sides. So this x will cancel this x. Then it will be a minus b is equal to this, whereas x divided by x is 1, negative 1 divided by x is negative 1 over x. Now, we let this as equation 2. Then in next step, we take equation 1 plus equation 2. Whereas from equation 1, equation 1 is a plus b is equal to x. So from a plus b is equal to x, then we add equation 2, which is this a minus b is equal to 1 minus 1 over x. So we will add these two equations. Then it will be a plus a is 2a. b minus b is 0. So it will be equal to x then plus 1 minus 1 over x. Then in next step, it will be 2a is equal to x then minus 1 over x, then plus 1. But 
from this part, which is x minus 1 over x in previous, x minus 1 over x is equal to a square. So, we'll substitute the value of x minus 1 over x, which is a square. Then our equation will be this 2a is equal to a square plus 1. Then in next step, we take this 2a to the right side. So it will be 0 is equal to a square, then minus 2a plus 1. Then in next step, from this quadratic equation in this part, it will be 0 is equal to, in here, is a perfect square, same as a minus 1 bracket square. Then we will apply square root in both sides. Square root of 0 is 0 is equal to, this square root will cancel this square, then it will be this a minus 1. Then we take negative 1 to the left side, so it will be a is equal to 1. Then as we already get the value of a is equal to 1 from previous, we let that a is equal to x minus 1 over x bracket power of a half. So from x, no, I mean a is equal to x minus 1 over x bracket power of a half. Then we substitute the value of a which is equal to 1 into here. So it will be 1 is equal to this x minus 1 over x bracket power of a half. Then multiply by power of square in both sides. So this and this will cancel. Then it will be this x minus 1 over x is equal to 1 square is 1. Then in next step, we we'll multiply by x in both sides. So it will be x times x is x square. x times negative 1 over x is negative 1 is equal to this and this is x. Then we take x to the left side. So it will be x square minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. Then to solve this quadratic equation, whereas a is equal to 1 and b is equal to negative 1, and c is equal to negative 1. Then, from quadratic formula, which is x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then, x will be equal to negative b to be negative bracket b is negative 1 bracket plus or minus square root of b square to be negative 1 bracket square minus 4 times a is 1 times c is negative 1 then over 2 times a is 1 then in next step it will be x is equal to negative when negative 1 it will be positive 1 plus or minus square root negative 1 square is 1 negative 4 times 1 times negative 1 is positive 4 over 2 then it will be x is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of this plus this is 5 over 2. Then from here we have two solutions, whereas x is equal to, when it's positive, it will be 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. And the second solution, when it's negative, to be x is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. So when you check by substituting the value of x from this first solution, left side and right side are equal. So, this first solution is the correct golden ratio answer. Now, to check from this second solution, when you substitute the value of x in the problem, in left side is 2.618, which is not equal to the right side, which is negative 0 0.618. So, the sum of the two square roots should not be a non-negative number. Therefore, this second solution is rejected. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps to miss out. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.